This online sports report is presented by Juice It Up at Hesperia's Gateway Shopping Center and Apple Valley's Commons Square at Dale Evans Parkway and Happy Trails Highway. D-Day, Atlanto Stadium, High Desert Yardbirds Baseball. First home field pitch, Greg Turner's called strike to Monterey leadoff hitter Chuck Rocker. June 6, 2017. June 6, D-Day, 73 years past. Military historians have never agreed on what the D in D-Day designates. Varying designations abound. For the High Desert Yardbirds, fans will settle for debut as in the inaugural home opener in franchise history. And the outcome delights High Desert fans. The generals on the field of battle, High Desert manager Jack Humphrey, Monterey Amberjacks skipper Justin Hayes Thompson. For the casual fan, for most points and purposes, Yardbirds baseball is much like professional baseball at any level. Fans find plenty to keep them well fed throughout the night at the ballpark. Attractive young ladies follow their favorite player of preference, often traveling great distances to see him play. Coaches get signs and signals, and when your batter misses a sign, it's the runner who gets picked off, pickled in this case, and that hitter may spend his next visit with the third base coach, explaining just how or why it was that those signals got crossed up or lost in the translation. Pecos League pitchers hit, and sometimes Pecos League hitters pitch. Amberjacks, Chuck Rocker, their starting left fielder and leadoff hitter, comes on for a relief appearance. Greg Turner will lead the High Desert Yardbirds past Monterey in the home field opener for the Pecos League first year team. Greg Turner, the 24-year-old out of Moreno Valley, turns back the Amberjacks, working one out shy of a complete game in the Yardbirds' 8-6 victory. The Yardbirds' defense solid behind Greg Turner, turning a pair of twin killings. The only miscue, a throwing error by Turner's battery mate late in the game. The 5'10", 185-pounder pounds the strike zone. Greg Turner will throw 117 pitches, 83 for strikes. He K's three and issues but one base on ball. The Amberjacks' first hit is the bloop single, dropping in over the infield with one out in the first. That's followed by the sharp single up the middle, two on, one out. Greg Turner's catcher is Richard Lucatero from Silverado Hawks, standout backstop, one of two former Victor Valley ball players on the Yardbirds roster, the other pitcher, Cesar Godinez. The base hit to right, another of the bloop variety, falls in front of right fielder Shane Brown. The Ajax, Amber Jacks, scoring the first run of the ball game. Monterey scores a second run on an infield ground out. The Yardbirds come up, down two. Three hole hitter, Anthony Hawkins, aboard with a two out walk. High Desert's first home field base hit in franchise history off the bat of Callan Marufo. The streaking line drive over the left fielder's head that sends Anthony Hawkins to third. Stand up double for Callan Marufo. Third double on the year for the 23 year old who will turn 24 on the 24th of this month. That brings Amberjack's manager, Justin Hayes Thompson, to the mound to plot strategy against the Yardbirds' top long ball hitter, Jonathan Tassis. Seventh pitch of this at bat, full count with two outs. Jonathan Tassis comes through with the clutch, two out base hit. Anthony Hawkins and Callan Marufo scoring. That pulls the Yardbirds even. It is 2-2, end of one. Jonathan Tassis will add a solo homer in the sixth for three RBIs on the night. He is a 25 year old out of Miami Lakes, Florida by way of Point Parks University, where he hit 397 his sophomore year. He has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. The Amberjacks score a go-ahead run on the pitch to the backstop in the second. In fact, of the six runs Monterey scores on the night, three come on wild pitches or pass balls.
Richard Lucatero's high chopper to third enables the hustling and fleet-footed Shane Sharkey to advance to third and scoring position in the bottom of the second. That enabled Shane Sharkey to trot home on an Amberjacks pitch to the backstop, tying the score at three. The next scoring comes in the fourth. Kellen Marufo leads it off, going the other way with a solid base hit to the left side of the infield. Kellen Marufo has been one of the most consistent Yardbirds hitter throughout the first two weeks, a 372 average. Second highest batting average on the team belongs to Jonathan Tosses, who is high chopper one hops over the third baseman's head on a hit and run, enabling Kellen Marufo to arrive in scoring position at third. Jonathan Tassis is hitting 415 in his first 12 games as a Yardbird. The big blow in the fourth comes off the bat of pitcher Greg Turner, and it is truly of the clutch variety. Another seven pitch at bat with two outs. Jonathan Tassis scores, followed by Shane Sharkey. That gives High Desert the lead 6-3. Greg Turner makes his first base hit of the season timely and productive. Greg Turner has many amberjacks lifting fly balls to the outfield of the can of corn variety. Center fielder Dylan Kester doing the honors on these occasions. On this play, when the pop-up does not carry far enough, the Yardbirds still get the force out of the base runner at second because Amberjacks runners have seen Dylan Kester cover a lot of ground in a hurry. Shane Brown backing up the play with the easy throw to second to force the runner who had to wait to see if Dylan Kester would make the catch. Monterey coach Justin Hayes Thompson's question for base umpire Keith Sabo, not receiving the answer nor explanation the Amberjacks skipper had hoped for. Greg Turner is unbeaten in his first three starts. He is due to return to the mound Sunday in search of his fourth consecutive win when the Bakersfield train robbers come to town. High Desert's historic inaugural homestand continues through Monday, June 13th at Atalanto Stadium. This online sports report is presented by Juice It Up at Hesperia's Gateway Shopping Center and Apple Valley's Commons Square at Dale Evans Parkway and Happy Trails Highway.